But my next place is gonna be, prayerfully, it's gonna be my home. Hello lifers, welcome to Lifestyle Colin YouTube channel. My name is Colin and I am back in your algorithm with the vibes. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome and hello. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending time with me today. Please subscribe to my channel and vibe with the guys. Okay, so today is November 1st. Today is the first day of November and it has already gotten out to a really fun, a really good start for me. Um, I woke up early, of course my alarm clock goes off at 6 o'clock. So I went ahead and got up and um, I'm sorry my hands are a little ashy, I didn't put no lotion on them. But I, um, I got up and I cleaned the kitchen and or just got ready you know so when i start working get the kitchen ready for when my girls get up to, it'll be ready for me to cook them breakfast so um i did that and i have to record um actually for this channel i'm gonna vlog a little bit of it right now and it's really literally y'all are gonna see it's it's one of my favorite purchases of C19 because at first I was having to still go to the laundromat to do my clothes to wash my clothes because um the apartment that I was living on it was a fourplex right here and it was an apartment complex right here and down the middle it was a washroom but the maintenance man told me that um it but it there was no it was the management company was off site so the one one day one of the people who worked there told me that they they couldn't put washers and dryers in on our location because somebody kept stealing them every time they would put so I would have to literally walk it was about a mile with all our clothes um to wash clothes cuz the city that I was living in they didn't have Uber they didn't have Lyft and the lady that I was using the private car company that she had she started working and doing something else so I was like, and I, I y'all know I'm a Benz girl, so if my money is not up to drive a Benz, I'm going to be walking. But later I did find out about another um shuttle service that they had, but early on when I had first moved it, I was walking like a while to go wash our clothes in the heat, in the cold, whatever. Or when that happened, I had to still, even though I had a ride, I still would have to go with all these people to wash our clothes. So, um, when we got our money, one of the first things I bought was a washer and a dryer. And it's literally like a regular size washer and dryer that hooks up to the sink. And I'm going to show you how I use it um, in this video. So that's really the plan for today. I have plans out my November and put everything, excuse me, and put all my paper and stuff up. And um, I might do a video on this. I'm also doing another mind marathon. So if you have ever done, uh, if you've never done a mind marathon, I really suggest you do them. I, in the video that I posted yesterday, you could see I was actually doing a mind marathon um, when I posted that video. But and I, it reminded me, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna do another mind marathon, and I'm gonna share everything. Um, and it's just really basic visualization um and sticking creating a plan and really sticking to it for 400 days so i do 400 day mile marathons and they really make my year so special and i would suggest y'all i might do a, a designated video to my 400 day mile marathon please leave it in the comments below if you're interested in hearing about it i love doing them uh, today is day one of my 400 day mile marathon so it'll be done december 5th of 2024 and um god is just really moving in my life he's always been moving in my life and so i really can't wait to see what happens on the other side of it i know you're not really supposed to say you know what you got going on you should keep it quiet but i've done so many my marathons so my stuff is pretty much locked in motion and two i don't feel like god would have given me this youtube channel if i was supposed to hold back so 
I'm gonna be sharing what I have going on. And number one thing I have is today is day one of my 400 day mind marathon. Um, and I'm excited about it. I put my stuff up for the things that I wanna accomplish um, during this time. And I'm just, I think I might break it down into days of 100. So 100 days, 100 days, 100 days, and 100 days. Um, and just really try to knock my goals out tomorrow. I'm, it's just going to be another day of knocking small goals out because as you knock, as you knock your small goals out, they start to link together and create large successes for you. So, um, that's really my ultimate focus is for the video, the videos for the next coming up videos are going to be this vlog or, you know, this just check in. And then I just got the idea to do um, a video on my 400 day mile marathon. So, um, that's really all I have going on. This is really not going to be a long video. I might go ahead and get it edited and get it up today and just go ahead and start editing for, um, uh, me washing clothes. Cause I feel like it would be really helpful for people, especially on section eight or people with, who don't have washer and dryer connections. Cause I couldn't imagine still going to sh a shared, especially since I'm in so I'm in different apartments, not really different apartments, but my next place is going to be, preferably it's going to be my home. But for right now, I don't like, especially with so much going on, you know, in the world, I would just prefer to have a private washer and dryer. Um, and I was fortunate enough to be able to get one and I'm going to go ahead and do my review. I've had it since 2021. And so, and it has been just a blessing, a blessing, a blessing. I'm so happy I found out about it. And I'm so happy that I got it. So if y'all want to see me um, wash my clothes, please keep watching. So we are currently in my dining room. What I do is I push my dining room table to the side and I'll just kind of tilt it when it's time to open the drawer. But this is my washing machine. I will leave all the details in the description box. It is an R RCA. This is the biggest one that they had available. And I'll show you, um, oh, I have some stuff in here that goes to the dryer, the dryer sheets. I'll show you that in a second. But this is what the interior of the washing machine looks like. And I set it up, another lady on YouTube who I actually watched the review for, she told us to get the, the refrigerator roller thing, which will be linked in the description box to make it easy to move um, to where we need to hook it up to the sink or whichever, you know, connections you're using which I use my kitchen sink and I'll show you how we do that right now so I'm just going to come over and close it just roll it out on the roller it's going to dip on and push it here turn it around this way so we are I'm just basically pushing it into my kitchen Okay, now that we are in the kitchen, I am going to start the process of hooking everything up. I actually hook it up to this right here and I will leave a link below. I had a gripper. I have to get another one that it makes it easier to tighten and loosen these and so you don't have to use your hand. But right now I have to use my hand because I don't have my gripper. So I just took that off. That usually, if you have this kind of suit, 
sink. Like I said, this is a Section 8 low income apartment. Um, but we're gonna use this side of the sink and I will show you the connection that I use to hook up. I only use one side. This is the hot and the cold uh, wires and I only use the cold side. But you can make the temperature of your water whatever you want to from the faucet. But I just use one of these. But if you had if you had connections, you could hook them both in. So I'm just going to. The plug is located in the back of the machine. I'm just going to plug that into my, the wall here. Okay, so I've plugged the machine in. So I'm just going to take. This is the connection it comes with your machine. And this will hook up this wire for the water to the sink. And this is what the end of it looks like. There we go. So now I'm going to take this part and put it in the sink. And you wanna make sure your sink is empty and doesn't have anything in it because it will fill up with water and just that is the connection. And I'm gonna make sure, I'll show you how I make sure there's no leaking or anything or, or water spurting, but it's usually a really good connection here and then it'll go directly into the machine when you're ready to turn it on. So next, um, the next part is you open the machine and I keep it in my machine just to keep everything together. Um, this is the other hose for the other connection if you have them, but I don't use it. Um, this is what is going to leak. You connect the machine and you put this part into the actual sink. So I'm gonna hook this part in the sink so that the water can drain through there and then we're gonna go down here to the back of the machine at the very bottom and we're gonna take this part and we're going to hook it up to there and the water is gonna drain through there and do I have forgotten to hook this thing up and it will flood the kitchen so make sure it's tight hooked up on there and connected and then you are good to go you're good to go from that point. So at that point, we've already separated the clothes. They're still over there. At that point, I'm just going to, I'll show you the settings that I use, but you can use, you know, customize your settings for the washing machine just how you would on a regular washer. So I'm going to cut it on. Um, I want to wash, rinse, and spin. So that's set. I'm going to leave that. No delay. I like to use large load because um, I have a lot of clothes, so I don't change that. But hot, I'm going to put it on cold water. I'm going to put it on cold and I'm going to leave this for heavy. And then I'm going to press start. And from there, I'm going to come over to my sink and I'm just going to put the water on medium. Now you see there's a small leakage, but this is nothing like this is going directly into the sink. So I feel like this is okay. If it were spurting real crazy all around, then I would say you would need to cut it off and adjust it, but that's okay. So now the water is filling up into my washer and I'm just gonna bring my clothes over, put in my soap, my liquid soap and start washing clothes. Okay, there we go. So from there, we, um, put the, we're putting the water in. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna open it and I'm going to put in my soap. And press it to start again. And let that fill up with soap. So now I'm going to pause it again. If you don't pause it, if you don't pause it and you lift, it'll make this noise. 
So you always want to pause it before you turn it off, okay? So this is what the water looks like that we have so far. If I could show you what the water, I want to drop my camera. Okay, so this is what the water looks like in the washing machine so far. Okay, now I'm gonna put you back here. So you can see me put in my clothes. a bit of clothes in. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go get some more. The barrel is pretty deep and I and I waste water and when I don't put enough clothes in there thinking that it won't um it won't take them. So I'll show you when it gets to washing what it looks like. Okay. Okay so this is what it looks like once it is washing i may have put a, quite a bit of clothes in here but the machine can take it this is a heavy duty machine um and the clothes will come out clean for sure but i could have probably put less in there so you could get more of a spin but if you wash clothes you know you know how it goes down okay and so this is how the water will empty out of the washer to do the first rinse cycle it does i believe three rinse cycles and this is a, this is of course the dirty water this is the first one but the water will be clear by the time it's all over this is the first rinse cycle the water is just emptying out And you don't ever have to turn the water off or on. You just leave it on and it'll shut off automatically when it's supposed to and turn on when it's supposed to. and it just cuts back on and now it's starting the next rinse cycle or the first rinse cycle. Okay, I have 
to run some errands. I am actually about to go get us some things that we need from the store. Uh, and I'm not taking y'all with me just yet. I will take y'all with me soon. Um, but in the meantime, the washer is still going. So I will um, finish that. But thank you so much for spending a little time with me today. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also turn on your post notifications so you never miss when I post a new upload. What else was I going to say? I think that's it for this channel and this video. Thank you and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching Lifestyle Calling YouTube channel. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.